Why the Flood is so awesome to fight against in Halo. In this video, we're gonna go in depth about talking about it and playing and showing you guys firsthand why they are so awesome and why it'd be amazing to see these guys return in Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these gameplay commentary videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you wanna see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see from the Flood coming from Halo Infinite or why you think the Flood are such a great enemy type. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything on this channel or Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keep you notified with anything awesome coming to the channel which is going to be every time so let's get right into the video here so one mission i think shows off the flood very well and gives you a good reason to say why the flood our amazing enemy type to fight against is in the game halo 3 on the mission cortana which is the second to last mission where you save cortana from high charity which has been completely infected by the flood and I think this one shows, gives you pretty much every single thing you need to worry about when it comes to playing against the Flood. And it's just, it's amazing. Really well made, a single player level. And I think it's a great example to show uh, what the Flood can offer as an enemy type. So let's get right into it and let's we'll play some games here. All right, so here we go. We jumped into the beginning of the Cortana mission here. And straight off the bat, you can see just like, one thing I really like about the Flood is the the art type style that comes with it. Is that you can see that, uh, oh, you can watch, hopefully watch one of these guys infect it. Well, you can see like, everything is very organic and gross and kind of pussy and just disgusting. Which is something you don't see right now in Halo. I think the um, art style that kind of comes with the Flood is a really nice contrast to what you've seen in the game previously as in basically you have the humans which are kind of like you know sci-fi futuristic technology to compare to the covenant which are super sci-fi and high tech kind of technology looking kind of thing a very sharp clean kind of imaging imagery to it and then you have well now in tale 5 you have the forerunners which are extra sci-fi super clean and techie where it seems like they all kind of blend together where I think that the art style of the Flood really gave you a nice contrast of all these, all this technology that you're surrounded by in the game and where the Flood, it was straight organic and just gross and disgusting but it would just overpower you compared to uh, the other enemy types. So I just, it's one of the things I really like about having the Flood in Halo is that it gives you a really nice contrast from the sci-fi to give you a little bit more of an organic feel to the whole thing. So I really appreciate that. You can see right here, hopefully, that they have these infector spores. They're kind of jumping around. And you can see that one cool feature that they do is they reanimate dead bodies, which I think is so cool. It's basically, you're playing against space zombies. A really cool part where, like, not only do you have to kill them once, but you gotta kill them again and make sure the bodies are completely blown up. I think it just kind of gives you a whole other th thing to worry about. Is that like, well, I definitely need to carry like a sword or something like that with me because I need to make sure that these guys not only are they dead wounds, but they're really dead. So a sword or like a brute uh, pill shot mauler kind of thing right here, or spiker. Sorry, that's what it's called. Will really help you out with uh, making sure that once you kill some flood that they stay dead. Another thing that I think also makes the Flood so great is that it also helps integrate all the uh, enemy types or player types in the game to mix all together in one. So you have the you have the Covenant, you have humans, and you also have just straight pure Flood forms as well. So then not only do you get the chance to just shoot you know, Covenant like you're used to or just the uh, Flood, but also you get to shoot, you know, you know, humans have been converted to the flood as well, and they use like human-like weapons and tactics against you. Where like the um, the elite forms, you know, they're using the uh, technology from the Covenant as well. So it's just a great way to kind of integrate all your different kind of enemy types in the one and shoot them. To and it's just like really cool feature and they all have their very own kind of tactics they like to use as well as you can see i got these these pure flood forms which are more ranged oh gosh i'm gonna die here i gotta run it off which i think was a really cool addition to halo 3 which was something they wanted to add in the halo 2 but they had to cut that due to uh you know the game being a development nightmare apparently okay wait come on come here come here so yeah we got these elite flood forms they get taken up easy with the shotgun Plus, like, how classic is it? I feel like it's super classic when you're, like, playing a game and you're just killing zombies with shotguns. 
No, you're not. Darn, you're not getting back up. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. They tried reanimating the uh, human floor form I just killed. Well, now I have to slice him again to make sure he's extra dead. Now, one thing I also have to like to say about uh, the, how the flood in Halo is that um, I think Marty O'Donnell did a fantastic job with the music theme for the flood as well. It gave you a very panicky, kind of heart pumping kind of uh, version. Jesus, honestly, like he just converted from a ranged attack to a tank. Oh gosh, I'm probably gonna die right here. No, 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 we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna let that happen. So now, only with these pure flood forms in the game, they can do range and they can do close range. With uh, the tank form, they got the range form and the crawler form, tank spider looking form that they had. So now they went to the range form as well. Uh, so they're just very, very lethal to you in this game. Uh, I really like also the uh, infector forms right here, these little guys right here, because obviously you can outrun them. They're not very dangerous to you, but the thing about them is what you know makes it such a them such a crucial part of the flood enemy type is that they keep it, you from having your shields spawn back up, and so then you can uh, you can't recharge your shields. It makes just killing the playing against a flood mission that much more difficult. Which I think is a perfect example of what like a throwaway enemy type should be. Whereas like a you know these infector farms are super easy to kill. They're kind of negligible by themselves, but in a mass very deadly, and they do an amazing job of you know keeping you on your toes, where like you need to constantly they keep you moving. Definitely. Oh my gosh, I almost completely forgot. You also have brute flood forms as well. You have to fight against in here. So you literally, you're literally giving you the kitchen sink that you have to fight against. Here we can actually get a chance to see some brute flood forms probably spawn up right here. As you can see, they're getting reanimated by the uh, the infection forms right here. As you can tell, we hit him with a little grenade right there though. Hit him with a little, maybe a little spiker for you as well. You gotta slice them up to make sure they don't come back to life. Oh gosh, don't blow them up on me. There we go. You see grenades. Uh, a spiker will get them, a sword, whatever it will take to just slice them up to make sure they don't come back to life again. These ranged attackers, my god, they're so annoying. I could not... Oh, these guys are so bad. It's like, not only do you have to be just like the most like difficult, like tanky dudes with a part in the pun, but also you can just morph and be like a ranged attack as well, just because like why not be able to do everything with one character. Did this guy get reanimated? Are you serious? Are you kidding me, man? Get back over here. What? Come back. Come back here. Come back here. Come here and die. What's wrong with this guy? Dude, this one's not going down. This guy will not die. What's going on with that? Also, these carrier forms, too. They're not just like mindless sacks of just annoyances. You can kind of like manipulate them in certain ways, too, to where you can have them maybe like blow up at a certain time. To where you can have them actually blow up their own friends, which is actually a super good technique I like to use. That's for sure. And also, you can also it gives you another thing to either maneuver around or shoot. You know, they give you different. You can I come across them different ways, is what I'm trying to say. Where like a lot of the uh, enemy types, say like in Halo 5, you just kind of have one way to go about you know, interacting with them. My God, I remember this hallway so much playing this on Legendary. It was such a pain. Look at these. Like, look how many guys are in here. Like, that's insane. Like, I'm I'm honestly just playing on normal right now, just to kind of get the idea and experience. So it kind of like you know, what's I'm actually better at campaign. It'll uh, play out a lot better for sure. But like, look how much stuff they're just throwing at you. It's insane. I just died right there. This is right there was like right how I died right there. Perfect example of like how all the enemy types kind of come together to kind of create this one just cohesive mess of just terribleness and I'm probably going to die again. Damn it! Because you see like the little flood spores, man, they will keep you on your toes so you can't regenerate your shields. You get overwhelmed by all these guys. It's just too much, man. Well, that's what, and again, that's that's what makes the flood so great is that they overwhelm you with just numbers. Where with all the other enemy types, they try to take you on by using, uh, you know, s tactics, strategy, military ex prowess, and wow, I'm bad at this. But uh, with the flood, they just overwhelm you with just brute force. Okay, we finally got past that section, but that's another thing that the flood make you have to do is just sometimes you just gotta freaking run, man. Like, you can't kill everything. You gotta find a way to kind of get past some of these guys and just make your way through the level without 
you know, dying super quickly. Because these guys are so freaking lethal, they'll knock you out so damn fast. Look at that, using the cloak to my advantage right there. Oh yeah. I'm a sneaky guy. I can get sneaky with this. Okay, and here we come to the end here where we save Cortana. The cr the grasp of the grave mind. It's kind of cool. like all these little digital images kind of popping up in front of your face. Like, oh my god, I'm having flashbacks. This is crazy, man. First of all, high self technology by punching it. There you guys have it. Just a video talking about why I think the Flood is such a great enemy type to have in Halo. Not just from a gameplay standpoint, but also a visual standpoint as well as it gives you a nice organic contrast of the high futuristic technology style that you get from the Covenant. Uh, even a little bit from the Brutes as well and also from the humans. They kind of show you that nature will always be a very powerful part within society and the world kind of thing at least that's what i kind of get from it so leave it in the comment section down below guys what you thought about this video if you what you guys thoughts are on the flood if you can agree with me or is anything else you want to bring up about why you like having the flood so much you know i do read all the comments trying to reply to most of them as well if you enjoyed this kind of video if you want to see more like that please make sure to tap the like button as lets me know you want to see some more content like this well if you want to stay up to date with anything halo related make sure you tap subscribe with the bell keep you notified when any time we do anything awesome on the channel and if you're new here or if you missed any content from me make sure to check out the videos on the screen right over here and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out